a new set which has come to me couple of days ago this is a Philips 533 this model is actually having a DC motor with a governor unit and a mono amplifier the rubber mat this one is actually <coughs> broken it has become very hard melted you can see the oil is still over this platter so I need to clean this platter also you can see now one thing I would like to uh, inform you as I'm doing this video why Philips or every turntable uh, company has given one uh, this sorts of mat over this platter what is the utility of this mat the main utility of this mat is to give a st stabilized base and what is the stabilization all about it is all about the LPs are generally made up of the vinyl when it is in moving condition it should not skid or slip from the platter then it will not uh, actually move in the correct speed at the same time you can see that uh, every uh, cover or the mat is having some sorts of grooves which actually uh, keeps the record flat like if sudden uh, vibration happens in that case uh, it uh, some up to some extent it uh, helps to resist that so that it should not come up to the record and the cartridge this is one thing uh, this is uh, for which uh, this mat is uh, given to all the record players another issue that i found here when i picked up the arm i found that it's weighing a bit high so i tried to check the inside of this a particular arm and what i found actually let me uh, show it to you if you can see there should be uh, the sp spring is there but that there should be one uh, lever which actually controls the weight of this particular arm which is not here so uh, the lot of work need to be done with this arm because if the weight of this arm becomes very high then it will actually damage the grooves of the record after a minute checking of this particular uh, rubber pulley and uh, metal pulley what i found i am showing it to you I have selected 45 rpm and I have connected the lever now you can see that it is merely touching the 45 rpm gauge if we force the force which actually gives by the platter if we force it you can see it is actually touching the 33 rpm but i have selected 45 rpm what it actually means it actually means that the motor is not perfectly stationed and the reason behind that i am showing it to you this is the reason the motor should come upward so that it should contact with the 45 rpm position but it's not doing that as because the motor actually as you can see that this has melted so for this reason this one actually goes down and for that if we select 45 rpm also the actually rubber pulley is connected with the 33 rpm when it, it will move or it will be in revolving mode it will actually connect with the 33 rpm so before i go to the internal circuitry i just want to show you one thing if you can see 
there is one spring which actually gives a tension to this one if you see the tension is a bit less what it does mean that if in any case if the if the tension is less here the rubber pulley might not touch the uh, spindle so what it means the speed will be less so it should have a good tension so that when i release this one it should instantly go and with a heavy tension it uh, goes uh, in its actual position so there is one problem so i need to check this uh, spring tension also this is the internal circuitry of the uh, 533 record player this is the governor unit with the dc motor these two are the battery connections it is actually attached with the back cover and uh, this is the amplifier unit this is 188 ac 188 and ac 187 darlington pair transistors all these are can type electrolytic uh, uh, capacitors this is a preset and these all are volume controls and there are some other uh, components also i would like to uh, tell you that i have mentioned earlier there is a spring inside this rubber pulley whose tension was not correct i tried to uh, find it and after a long search i got one of course from the old stock but I have changed that also with a new one and uh, the tension as you can see it is not possible right now to see the tension but if I start the arm or connect the arm with the spindle now you can see how quickly it is contacting with the spindle. This is how it should work. As you can see, that the rubber grommets are installed correctly, and if you can see now, the connections are quite correct. All the spindle and the rubber pulley is connected in the correct position. This is how it should have been fixed. Now it's time to check the speed of the record or the platter. Now it's time to test the speed of this platter and the record player. I have selected 45 RPM. Yes, it is now moving in the correct speed. Now I'm changing it to 78 RPM. As you can see, the speed is increased again in 45 rpm now i'm going to 33 and one third rpm as you can see it's working perfectly fine but it was not like that when i have fixed the rubber pulley and the motor initially while i started the platter to move i saw it was moving but sometimes it's decreasing in its speed and sometimes it's completely getting stopped i tried to found what is the problem with it and what i found exactly there were uh, two components which were actually gone one is this germanium transistor ac127 and these rarely goes in these sorts of record players it's actually an inductive coil which helps gives a magnetic field and also uh, provides a voltage in a regulated way which actually was open this is how the governor unit now look like as you can see i have changed a lot of components especially this one this one as you can see this one also and uh, this one which i have shown earlier the coil 
after replacing all these I gained the actual speed of this uh, uh, turntable or the motor after the completion of the repairing of the motor governor unit while I checked I found another problem I would like to show it to you as you can see this uh, is the lever which actually installed in this record player earlier I have removed this one reason behind that while I checked the speed of the platter I found that it's inconsistent sometimes it's uh, giving the exact speed and sometimes it's moving slow I tried to check why it's happening and what I found you can see this is the spindle over which the rubber pulley actually installed now the thumb rule is that this will be standing here directly and the rubber pulley will revolve or rotate around it what I found that this particular spindle itself is moving you can see now I can revolve this one by my fingers so if this spindle revolves like this then the rubber pulley which will be installed over it it won't attain its correct speed and that is why it was happening so I had to replace this particular lever and as usual I have uh, changed the all the electrolytic capacitors here in this amplifier set and uh, one thing I noticed uh, that uh, there was no sound at all so I need to replace one of the germanium transistors if you can see this one I have uh, replaced with a new one and uh, this one I kept uh, the old one because uh, the when I uh, measured all uh, these two transistors I found uh, this one is okay but this one is uh, completely short so I have changed it